Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is a tutorial that I have been asked for for quite some time. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just getting to it. <laughs> so I apologize it's taken so long, but I have so much stuff I'm working on. And uh, anyway, so here's the tutorial. Uh, we're doing a Photoshop touch. And this is just the, uh, this is going to be, there's going to be a couple of parts. So this is part one. And uh, I can't promise that each one of these will be delivered uh, back to back, but it will be um, an ongoing series. So I will create a playlist just for uh, Photoshop tutorials. Um, so yeah. So this first video, we're just going to kind of just go through kind of how the interface works and all that stuff. So really simple. And uh, we'll even get more complicated, or not more complicated, we'll, we'll dive deeper into um, some of the other features that it has too. <coughs> we may not cover everything in this video, but we're going to give it our best. Okay, so first off, the way Photoshop works is it's actually kind of cool. So if I take my finger, hello, <laughs> and if you actually just tap and hold, then you get all of these things. You slide your finger down, and these are all different tools that you can use. So right now we have the uh, paintbrush. And unlike Sketchbook Pro, how it has that, <coughs> sorry, how it has a thing in the middle to where you can adjust like the size of all that, of, of everything. Um, you, what you would do for for Photoshop is you come over here to where it says brush. Oops, there we go. Tap it, and you have over here the different sizes, um, your hardness and the flow and the opacity. So that's where you would get to all of these tools. Um, so a lot of it's like Sketchbook Pro, like a lot of the same tools. So they're just in different areas. So you actually find yourself quite comfortable using this. Um, so yeah, and it, um, anyway, so okay, so here's how, oops, here's how you do this. If you want to change the size of this, and you just, that's a lot like Sketchbook Pro. So let's see, it's, it's, that's what I'm saying, it's really easy to get used to. Um, so you just change the size just by swiping your finger. Uh, the same goes for the uh, hardness. Uh, yeah, so you can't really see that very well, but um, that's how that's done. And then also too, let me see if I can focus better on these. Okay, so then you have that there, and then your opacity. Um, so it pretty much works the same way. So the only thing, though, is, here, let's see. Yeah, that's the thing that gets annoying. Um, every single time you tap, it shows up. But, you know, and I think, hold on, let me go back. I think we have the opacity. Yeah, the opacity is low. That's why. Okay, there you go. Okay, so anyway, so it it works pretty much like Cetra Pro. Now let's keep let's keep going. Uh, let's go up over here first. So up over here we have um, effects, and these are different things that you can use for like what you would do for like filters, uh, things on that level. Uh, so you can go through all of these, <coughs> kind of just play around with them, and you can tap on each one of these little tabs up here. Um, each one of those. So they actually have some really good effects. So feel free to experiment with those, play around with them. Uh, also over here, these are things that you would want to use for like, there you go, like brightness and contrast. Now this is actually nice because Sketchbook Pro doesn't have, um, it, currently it doesn't have these features in it right now. Um, so yeah, so you have like the brightness and contrast, you can do black and white, your saturation, um, all that good stuff. So <clears throat> a lot of stuff that you would expect to see in Photoshop is here. So, uh, so yeah, okay, so there's that. Let's keep moving. Um, da, 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 let's see. Uh, over here, right there, that's where you would get to things like your uh, fill, like your bucket, uh, you know, things like fade, and uh, your text, so things like that. You'll have to uh, just experiment with all of this stuff, but I mean, I'm just kind of showing you how to, how to get to everything. Um, up over here, I think that's just to go in full screen mode, I'm pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> and let's see, and okay, down over here, something that we are really familiar with, uh, layers. Oh yeah, look at that, I barely have any battery right now. Well, I have enough to finish this tutorial, but anyway. So over here is your layers, um, it works pretty much the same. So when you push that, here, let me see if I can do that again. Ugh. When you push that, that little lava um, thing's going to pop up. And you can do a photo layer, empty layer, duplicate layer, and all, you know, just keep, just keep going. <laughs> but uh, 
the so the way it works is the photo layer that's equivalent to what we would use in Sketchbook Pro for like um, import from photo. So that's so you can bring like a photo in. Empty layer is a blank layer, which is what we're actually going to do right now. So we're going to click empty layer, and whoops, I just hit, <laughs> hit it twice. Okay, so anyway, so there we have three layers, and uh, we can just go over here and click done. I kind of don't like it that you have to click done. It should just go away as soon as you pick which one you want. But whatever. <laughs> um, and this works pretty much the same way. You just drag and slide them down back and forth. So that's a lot just like Sketchbook Pro, how you um, move your layers around. Um, and then obviously over here, there's an undo button. Uh, this is really close to Sketchbook Pro too, because there's that, um, that new... Uh, sorry if you hear that notification sound. <laughs> but um, yeah, in Sketchbook Pro, there's that undo button that's right over here. Okay, so, and then to get out of everything is this button right here. And it's just going to ask if you want to save or don't save. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll just ignore that for right now. That kind of really irritates me every time you tap. It should be you tap and then dismisses and then you tap to start drawing. But, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to start going through some tutorials on how to actually uh, start creating some artwork in here. Um, I really like their interface, it's really nice. Um, it's really clean and smooth. It's pretty much been this way ever since it first came out. So I guess they haven't really had a big demand on people complaining about the interface because it seems like it's working fairly well. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's the first tutorial on Sketchbook Pro. Oh, not Sketchbook Pro, sorry. On Photoshop Touch for Android. And the tablet I'm using currently right now, um, right here, is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um... So yeah, so that is Sketchbook, uh, look at me, <laughs> I'm so used to saying Sketchbook Pro at the end of my videos. Anyway, this is Photoshop Touch, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video of uh, Photoshop Touch. <laughs> and uh, again, like I said, I'll put this in a playlist so everyone can find it easy, and you won't have to search through all the other Sketchbook Pro videos, because there's a ton of those. <laughs> Alright, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video, and also too, welcome to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate all of you, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to roll out. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and uh, kind of a big announcement, I should make a private, or not private, but a, a, another video for this, but the video, the video series that I was talking about doing, Rise of the Galaxy, I know I said possibly this weekend, but no, it's not going to be. And the reason why is I want to make sure that I have quite a few episodes done so when I release them you guys can watch them back to back and uh, so I'm thinking more so on the lines of it probably will come out in March more than likely so but you guys will still get to see like a teaser and a trailer for it before before that time so a trailer for it will be coming really soon all right so I'm gonna stop talking and I'll see you guys in the next video all right bye bye <laughs>